Okay, welcome our fam to set time of year again for the Comic Art Fam's website, Best Of. I hope you've taken the time to enter your five favorite pieces and place your votes. If you're unfamiliar with the Comic Art Fam's Best Of, I'll put a link in the description box and you can check out all of the entries. As always, there were many amazing pieces posted to CAF throughout the year and choosing my top five in each category was a challenge. I'm going to go over my entries and the pieces I voted on for 2021. There are sure to be many mispronounced names and titles, so I apologize in advance. So my entries are here. I didn't get much in the way of traditional comic art in 2021, so my entry is leaned more towards the gallery art description, but close enough to the comic art periphery to be included. My first entry is a Scarlet Witch Commission from Marco Goglione. It's super bright and overflowing with Marco's style. Give it a quick look here. That's definitely Marco's style. My second entry is a commission from Linnea Strid. Her current style is focused on water themes and this fits very well with the lyrics from a song titled Flood, which the lyrics are on there and we'll go ahead and give that a listen. After 20 plus years of collecting, I was finally able to get a Phil Hale painting in my collection. Of course, the photo does not do it justice, but I do enjoy looking at this piece hanging on my wall and seeing it every day. And lastly, in the published and unpublished category, an artist that I just discovered in 2021 was Lee Wagstaff. His paintings are best viewed in person from across the room. Most paintings make you want to lean in and get a closer look, but in Lee's case, they're better further away. Um, the closer you get, they are, they do get more abstract and more unrecognizable. I mean, it is very hard to convey how awesome this piece is. I mean, probably the thumbnail is the best uh, version of it that you're going to see online. And my last entry is a painting by Jason Lamone. Um, Jason creates these scenarios that could come right out of a, a Tim Burton movie. Each of his paintings seems to show a different part of this small world where these skeletons live in their folded paper constructions and they go about their creepy yet charming little way. So those are my paintings. I'm sure you're all familiar with them because you all voted on at least one of them. So thanks for looking at this part of the video and next we will go to the published unpublished comic book covers.